Our other big story is the cleanup from the severe flooding in our area. We have two reports. ABC 7's Eric Hong is in displays where the river has crested. But let's start with ABC 7's Diane Patthew, who's live in North Aurora with that part of the story. Diane. And Karen, here in North Aurora, the cleanup can't even begin yet because the water levels along the Fox River are still simply too high to even begin that process. This afternoon, we took a ride exclusively with Governor Quinn up above as he looked at all the flooded areas from a helicopter. High above the Des Plaines and Fox Rivers, the water levels look intense. I've been through a lot of floods, but never as uh, widespread. We went along with Governor Pat Quinn as he flew over the flood-ravaged areas. Water levels here are slowly receding, but the damage has already been done to many homes and businesses. Do you think that we'll be able to see federal funds coming in to help all of these damaged areas? I told the mayor in Quincy and every mayor we've seen over the last few days that Cities themselves, the units of government, have to keep very close track of their expenditures. Everything from uh, cleanup and sand and heavy equipment and water pumps, any damage, because they uh, would be entitled to public assistance from the federal government. Then there's a separate type of uh, uh, financial assistance that's called individual assistance. In the southwest suburbs, areas like Stickney and Forest View, residents are using canoes to get around. Flora Belletti's house was swallowed by water early Thursday morning. I can't believe it because I never saw it before. I lived here for 40, almost 40 years. So I never, I never see this happen before. She lost everything. I'm homeless. That's what I can say. I'm homeless. Uh, the second round of boats were going out about 11 o'clock. They were going back for all the animals. It was amazing. Many elderly people live in this area and had to evacuate without their medication to a nearby shelter. But the community pulled together. Neighbors grabbed canoes to row out and help. So again, Karen, before any of the cleanup can begin, a lot of this water has to recede first. And I wanted to mention the governor has declared 42 counties in Illinois disaster areas. Reporting live in North Aurora, Diane Pathew, ABC 7 News. Back to you in the studio. Okay, thanks, Diane.